I was sick, but I had heroin and cocaine. I didn't want to do it, but I'm like, man, we got a whole nother 45 minutes in here. I'm not about to sit and listen to this man this long time. No, you feel really. me? Bro, I went in that bathroom, bro, and I felt bad and dirty. So yeah. I want, yeah. I want, I just want to ask, um, because um, we know you, you talked about your struggle with uh, drug addiction, but the alcohol. So do you feel like? Is that something you struggle with as well? Or no, 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 no. <laughs> See, alcohol is like, it's all a choice at the end of the day, right? But I control this more better, right? This don't control me. Now, if I get inebriated to the point where I'm just all the way out there, I might say some crazy, crazy shit. That's it. But it's still me. You feel me? It just came out and I couldn't control keeping it in you feel me but um i think alcohol is all addiction you feel me like i'm not in denial of nothing that we do from substance abuse alcohol or whatever you feel me i know that i choose to drink alcohol and i know why i choose to drink it you know what i'm saying what i call myself an alcoholic nah you know what i'm saying but do what i say i like to drink yes you feel me so is, am I in denial of whatever? I don't think so. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just like how it make me feel, though. Like, at, at the end of the day, it's like, in, in, in this world, I like, 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 <laughs> I feel like we be needing something to like calm our nerves, bro, anxiety or whatever. Like, we all go through that. And I think everybody got something that takes away that anxiety you feel me when you met your wife uh did you have any type of either alcohol were you were you yourself or were you like super you have superpowers when you met her how did uh, that uh, now when i met my wife i was uh, a dope fiend oh, wow. you know what i'm saying but she didn't know that you know she didn't know that you know and um i think how she found out one day i was out and she was in the house and she i used to wear timberland boots and I used to put the spoon and the syringe in my Timberland boots. And um, she, now nah, I think that's when I went to jail. I think that when she found that. Nah, nah, I don't know how she found She found it anyway. Right, right, right. She found out. She found out. And um, I used to be in the bathroom alone. I think she had a feeling like, what the fuck this nigga doing in this bathroom? Because I'd have been in the bathroom alone. I know I didn't duck out. I'm, I'm going through episodes. How in the long bathroom. is long? Nigga, long way, I don't remember, but it was Damn. hours, you feel me? I'd be in the bathroom, but that's why I used to go get high. Nigga, I didn't been in the bathroom in the church, getting lost, shooting heroin and cocaine, nigga, in the fair, shooting heroin and cocaine, at the zoo, shooting heroin and cocaine, at the nigga, at the, at the, 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 the pot, potty, 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 whatever the fuck oh, that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, anywhere they had a bathroom, McDonald's, in the movies, you feel me? I'm going in the bathroom and shooting heroin and cocaine when I was doing it, you feel yeah. me? When I did it in the church, bro, I was like, damn. Like, I'm tripping. Bro, I remember at the church, right, this before I met my wife, you know, I'm in church with my baby mom and my son, and bro, I was sick, but I had heroin and cocaine. I didn't want to do it, but I was like, man, we got a whole nother 45 minutes in here. I'm not about to sit and listen to this man this long time, <laughs> nah, you feel really? me? Bro, I went in that bathroom, bro, and I felt bad and dirty. Went in there, I shot the heroin and cocaine, bro. Came out, and my baby mama knew I had did it. She was mad in the motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? But it was like, bro, like, like, like when you sick, man, you don't care about nothing. You, you got to kill your sickness and worry about whatever else come after that, you know what I'm saying? That's why, bro, anybody that's dealing with substance abuse, I understand y'all. And I want to do whatever I can to talk to people like that. You know, so anybody that's out there that want to holler at me, holler at my team, you know what I'm saying? I'm frontline soldier because I understand that feeling. That ain't something that's easy that like, like you could deal with. And we all have a dope fiend in our family. I just happen to be that dope fiend, you know what I'm saying? In my family. Yeah. I don't know where it come from because my mama didn't do no drugs. My dad ain't did no drug, he drunk, you know what I'm saying? But 
I don't, I'm not, I don't recall nobody in my family just, I was, that was me. Right. You feel me? Like, it was me, bro. And I have a small family, you know what I'm saying? On my mama's side. Now, my uncle, which I talk about in my book, he did, he was, he was a dope boy, you know, and I used to idolize him, you know what I'm saying? And um, I went from idolizing him to me and him riding around in my car shooting heroin and cocaine together. Like, he used to take care of the family, you know what I'm saying? Like, he had the 98 with the rag top, the, the, the mopeds, and he was a dope boy. I talk about him in my book, The Auto Thug, I a Turk out. Yeah. Um, and um, I wanted to be like him, not the dope side of him, but the dope take, side of him. You yeah, feel me? Like, like how he was, you know, like taking care of everything, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And it was crazy how he, I felt like he let the family down. And I used to be mad at him, right? But then I wound up doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? And me and him wound up riding in the car, getting high together. So it was crazy, bro. That, that moment right there when I, when, I, when I pull up on him and, and, and picked him up in my Rover, and, it was, it was, and I, we was talking like, damn, bro. You know what I'm saying? I used to always want to quit doing it, but I was so caught up that gorilla was on my back. Yeah, I nah. couldn't stop it. Once you said you did it in church, that's kind of let you know how. Yeah, how, how and, you I, and I'm quite sure telling the truth, not hating. Nah. Telling the truth is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Facts over testimony. feelings. Now, people going to try to turn your testimony to a testimony. That's what they do. Because people be saying, are he glorifying this? Are he doing it in church? Church people about to come at me now. You know what I'm saying? That was going to happen. I did it in church. Y'all doing a lot more stuff in church. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh. I'm saying, we, to be know, quite honest. Yeah, I'm being real. I'm being real about it. You feel me? But nah. I did that, bro. Shout out to Real Street Stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.